Hello, and welcome to Three Underrated Myths, a collection of dope-ass myths that deserve more love. The first game I have is called The Gallery by Portrait. It has a whopping 1,256 visits, despite its high quality and creativity. Anyways, let's get into it. Welcome to my gallery. Now, welcome to my gallery. I'm Picta. What are you? The god of this art gallery? The knower of all? Well, most things. What? Huh? What? Who? Where? What? What? Okay. I'm gonna keep asking questions. What is this place? The hub for all my realms. How do you laugh like that? So like that? Oh. Uh, don't care. Are you implying you don't care about art? Are you Fury enough encounter those clueless ignorant muses who dare to question the profound meaning of art? How can we survive the inherent beauty and that the art bestows upon dreary lives? Or is this uh it's getting too long? Okay. Art is a sanctuary where genuine emotions are laid bare, where the true essence of existence is immortalized in brush strokes and melodies. The fact that you dismiss its significance reveals your pathetic lack of understanding and empathy. While in your stupidity, art transcends mundane and access to the very core of our humanity. Speaking emotions is not human. And speaking emotions is not human. People just can't comprehend. You're an insult to the class of the world. It's not the core of the universe. 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 Uh, sure. Oh. Anyways, that's enough talking to Picta. Let's move on to the first painting, Shape Plan. Alrighty. Relax, you're here forever. I hope not. That'd be awful. In the gallery, you explore Picta's paintings. They like miniature universes Picta makes. As you can see, this one is about simple geometry. In here, you can find a couple of cute notes Picta left. And in every painting, you can find a tape Picta recorded. Shape Plane has by far the easiest tape to acquire requiring the player to click a button, and that's it. You listen to the tapes in the gallery, leaving behind a cute recorded message for the players. <laughs> I boosted up the audio for this tape, uh, and I can still barely hear it. Anyways, I think I'll move on as listening to these tapes take up a lot of time. So moving on, now on to recollection. Wow, it looks like someone was really frustrated. <laughs> I picked a... It looks like an artist's bedroom. Kinda messy. They also seem to really like cats, or just the artist, Lee Wayne, who's best known for their art of anthropomorphized cats. <laughs> you can't stop smiling when looking at the kitties. Hmm. This one's a bit different than the rest. It also seems like whoever's house this is is struggling financially. Also, I'd like to mention that there are two sets of everything in the house, meaning that two people live in this house. Let's get the recorder, remove this out of place painting first. Next, get the code to it in one of the books in the living room. And then save the code aloud. And lastly, painting number three, pure. This place looks like an overgrown park. Was that the statue from before? Blech. In heaven's vast, or the earthly four, this phrase in wisdom does explore. From cosmic stars to roots that grow, what's the secret of... Now, um, they got really stuck on this. Or, too long for me to say. Eventually, a kind myth hunter named Maroon came by. She got help from one of her friends and got a hint. The hint was... The Magician, which allowed me to figure out the code. 
The poem has simple rhymes, meaning the quote has to end with something that rhymes with grow. And the magician is a tarot card that has a secret, it points up and down. The meaning behind it is as above, so below, which is the answer to the riddle. Whoa, what's that above Picta? That was the same eye distortion as the girl earlier. Anyways, that was the last tape so far. I look forward to more. On to the next myth. Here is The Burrow by Valsviat. It has 607 visits and is set in Illinois in 1989. So far, the game looks atmospheric. Particularly, the added fog and ambient light seem to be the most striking to me. Ooh, a house! Hmm. A wooden deer. Guns! Land of the free, baby! So far, it seems like the owner is a hunter. Hmm, a picture of someone. I wonder who... Out behind the cabin is a shed. It has all the tools you need. Like rope, and a door handle? Behind the shed, there's a disturbing photo. Uh... Does he have a basement? Who's that in the background? Indeed, he does have a basement past Boo. It's right here. Okay. I don't like the look of this place. Sanctuary. Is that like a clock symbol? Hmm. It seems like this basement is the one that was shown in the photo, and the person who's captured was stopped and kidnapped by the owner of the cabin. I don't know what the relation between the two individuals are, and frankly, this place gives me the creeps. I'm going to slowly back out and go to the next myth. This is Spring by Ezriha. It's a pretty cool mysterious myth about climbing a windmill, where at the top you will meet a mysterious singing lady. Anyways, there's very little lore, but you can watch me speedrun while I narrate a bit. Woo! In button. There's going to be a lot of those, so be prepared. Actually, most of the progression will be done through buttons, which I definitely prefer over touching random invisible studs. and hole. A lot of my time loss will actually be missed parkour. There's a graphic earlier that showed me the hidden button. Oh man, I suck. Oh well, you didn't hear her from here? I have no idea who she is. More buttons and levers. Thankfully, this is basically the end of them.
that note right there are coordinates. I wonder what she's singing. It sounds like a chant. X and Y here, just find 2, 5. P.S. Don't suck like me, have proper grammar. What is Great Basin Bristlecone Pine? What is July 16th, 69? Uh, tough question. I don't know. Shh, don't tell the devs, but I'm going to cheat. If you actually know the answer, please tell me because I don't know. There we go. This code corresponds to the number of colored boxes we've seen so far, in the order of red, blue, green, yellow, which is 3350. Now simply ride a blade up. Hello, Princess. I've come to save you. Or not. Well, I think that's it. I'm probably missing extra lore, as the singing entity is unexplained, as well as this extra lever. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out these myths. They deserve some more love. Have a good day and goodbye.